Um, the first thing that really I think needs to be introduced here is, I you know I'll come right out and say it that because this is burn victim seventy seven. That might be adding to the confusion, and it's you know it's it's the, an old argument. And I mean you I you know what the tribesman with the big penis doesn't get he doesn't get watermelon cake. A lot of people are just entirely ignorant of and misinformed about any of the things that you enjoy in your life. But here's the problem, and this is where I become a skeptic. It would be a fallacy to say that policymakers are actually going to do the right thing with that information. Continuing on from here, the problem with my personal opinion is you can't really make a coherent definition of any of the things that you enjoy in your life. Um, I'm just using shorthand here. There's clearly evidence to suggest that watermelon cake is basically used as a political tool. That probably was pretty confusingly worded. <clears throat> basically, bear with me for a second. Let's just go back to watermelon cake. But uh, the question that I would have, I guess, for you is, and uh, I mean, I totally concede that uh, there's a, a lot of watermelon cake conspiracists that believe that it is, you know, an entirely concocted idea, and they have a preconceived notion and they ignore all evidence so that they can maintain their same view. What would have to be presented to you to convince you to think that watermelon cake was not the cause or the, the significant cause? I think it's a fair question, so indulge me. If you think I will cooperate with you in any way, you are insane.